Kia ora, Tina Koto, hello and welcome back to FTL here on board the Rock Cruiser Type A, otherwise known as Within the Rock. With our three original crew members, Iron, Nickel and Cobalt, we've picked up Ariel and Charlie along the way and they are making havoc across the galaxy with us today. Aw oh, yeah. Uh, for the most part, our ship is actually pretty under-equipped here. We have level 2 shields, level 2 engines, level 3 weapons, so we're not doing too well. But, we have all three subsystems now, so the capital investment is hopefully over. We have ourselves finally, at long last, a firebomb on this ship, in addition to the crew teleporter, meaning that we can now perform one of the most powerful and deadly tactics in FTL, fireboarding. Oh yeah, hopefully we can come across a firebomb or a, sec a second firebomb or perhaps a firebeam, and that would be fantastic, but I'm okay with the one weapon, you only really need the one. But more is better! <laughs> we are here in Sector 5, the NG Homeworlds, and we don't have a store right off the bat, so right off the bat... I am going to devote a whopping 100 scrap to our shields. And we're going to have to do that, I think. I guess we can do something like this. We can use the cloaking as needed. But yeah, now we need to get some more power and engines. Alright, so yes, where are we going to go from here? Well, we can either hang out down here or up here. And I think up here is the best solution for us. We're also starting to run a little low on fuel there, if we can come across some kind of fuel thing, that'd be really good. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and orders to split the bounty if we sit tight. They are offering us two fuel, one missile, and 21 scrap. Well, well, well. They're a pirate ship, which means that, uh... They're going to have mixed crew members, not just the Mantis, so we do have a reasonable chance here with our rock crew members, especially since we have the firebomb, but they also have a missile there and then some kind of heavy laser weapon. Our shields should be more than a match for that, but yeah, we're going to need to depower our shields a little bit and fire up the cloaking for the uh, missile. Let's attack the pirate. The pirate ship stops its pursuit and locks weapons onto us, and they're going to aboard us with a Zoltan and a human. They must be crazy. Let's go ascend and hit Ariel in there to deal with those guys, and let's do something like that, okay. Yes, so let's keep these guys here. Let's depower our shields one slot. Let's power up everything else. Get our cloaking ready. Now we're going to put our firebomb probably just on the weapons because that's a, just a good spot. They've got three NG there, so this should be pretty easy for us. Let's cloak out now. And we set those fires, that's good. Let's jump in there with our rocks. See, this is what makes it so good, is that uh, now that we're in here and we're immune to fire, but the NG can't actually put the fires out because they have to fight us. Fighting us is a higher priority. Meet so in the meanwhile, in addition to them taking extra damage, the system is also taking damage, essentially meaning that the missiles are now down and we only took a little bit of damage for it. Now I guess what we're going to do is just head into the oxygen room, as you do. Now that these guys are all dead, as they madly dash about the ship, down they go. The pirates are all dead, leaving the ship dead in space. You scourge what you can, turn the ship before contacting its form of prey. We gain one missile, one drummer, and 33 scrap. Upon closer inspection, you realize the ship under attack was a rebel scout. It's too damaged to put up much of a fight. We could destroy it, or use the leverage you gained, saving their lives, to convince them to delay the pursuing fleet. Well, hmm. It's difficult to say if this is going to be worth it or not. It's very difficult to say. We're in NG Homeworld, so coming across just general loot is in theory less common, so I think what we're going to do is just, uh, destroy the ship and salvage it. Okay, we get 24 scrap, one fuel, and one missile. I'm not sure... Mm, I feel like we could have earned that doing, uh, you know, doing get, gaining the two jumps, to be honest. Perhaps even more than that. So I don't think that was actually a good trade in hindsight. Okay. Fix up the cloaking. With our strike team. Our super duper omega strike team of flabberdening. Flibberdinging, flibberdinging. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, we've got no uh, store right off the bat, so let's go ahead and get to power to keep our shields online and everything is a go, which is really cool. Okay, now we're doing so much better for some reason, I'm not sure what it is. Perhaps it's probably the firebomb. You know, now we got rid of this capital investment as well. You notice an NG colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. It turns out they're excavating an equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War, and they suggest it might be used to lure the pursuing fleet. Well, we could booby trap the cache, or we could secure the cache. We're using fireboarding here, and we are using firebombs, but we do have plenty of missiles right now. I'm going to booby trap it just because I want to get those extra jumps in that I missed out on last time. So let's do that. You transfer down some missile warheads and the NG rig them to blow before setting a distress signal to attract the fleet's attention. Yes, okay, we've got a store up there which we don't really need. We do need the fuel though, so I think it would be a good idea to head up there. And it looks like Ariel took a beating as well. An NG ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. And if we take a look! Wow! I wish I hadn't spent any of my scrap now. Wow. Wow. Okay, I want that fire beam. Or a second fire bomb at the very least. I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff though here. Well, heavy laser isn't much use to us just because it can't penetrate one shield. So we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, and we're probably going to get rid of the Artemis as well, I reckon. Yeah. Let's get rid of the Artemis. Okay, and we'll keep the Burst Laser though, just because, you know, it's a, it's just a good weapon to have. And now we've got enough scope to get the Fire Beam, but do I want that or the Fire Bomb? I think having a beam would be good, so that we don't have to spend as many missiles t uh, just taking out a ship in general. We can fire this at the shields or something, jump into the shield room, I think that's going to be pretty good. And then we can come in with our fire beam. That sounds like a good plan to me. We're going to need to get this thing running though. But okay, okay. <laughs> We're looking pretty strong here now. Well, we're going to have to jump back the way we came, but that's alright. I probably should have picked up some repairs and fuel as well there. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to find a second store on our journeys through here. Let's jump over here. Oh dang it, Ariel still hurt. Yikes. When you ask a nearby station for a radio-friendly program, it gives us a 21 scrap and a hull repair drone. Seriously, guys. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and fire that thing up. Let's see. Let's get a bit of power. There we go. Let's see if we don't get a stingy one. One, two, three. Oh, cool. Four. Are you going to go for five? And he is awesome. Sweet, we don't have to buy repairs anymore. Now we do. Now all we need to buy is fuel. Whew. Cool. Okay, we've got a store there, which is good. Let's check out this distress and then head up to the store. We're running dangerously low on fuel. Dang it, Ariel is still hurt. You follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Their messages. Help! Our shields are down and I don't want no more how much longer we can last. Let's try to shield their ship with ours and escort them out of the field. Don't risk our ship, lead them to their fate, or offer to beam them aboard our ship using our teleporter. They refuse at first, but another blast of rocks their ship and they agree to beam aboard ours. They say, Thank you, but we really should return to our families. I'm sure we can ask up a reward if you take us home. Take them to the nearby planet where they are from. The survivor's family is of modest means, yet they managed to offer you a reward for our fortuitous deed, gaining 42 scrap. Well, that was a pretty good reward if you ask me. Let's head up to that store because we are running dangerously low on fuel now. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed empty ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected intruder on deck. A young mantis in a charred uniform is teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for our protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Well, 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 we have fireboarding here so we don't really need an extra mantis. As awesome it would be to have a mantis boarding in addition to fireboarding, but again, I'm going to offer up that, that mantis in exchange for the bounty. The NG captain is delighted and quickly arranges for the transfer of the prisoner. 52 scrap. 
That looks like it was a legit one as well. That mantis is probably going to rip us to shreds if things didn't go his way. Or if he was for realsies, if you know what I'm saying. Right, let's heal this dude up. Looking good. We are looking really good now. Yeah, we've got a ton of scrap as well, which is good. Just want to check out what's at the store though before I spend. General rule of thumb as you do an FTL. We are now on zero fuel, but we have jumped to a store, which means we can top up. Ninja can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG hive at this beacon is selling equipment for just that. Well, we've got a defense two, which we don't really want. Ideally, you just want a defense one to take care of those missiles. Yeah, yeah, don't really want that. I'm gonna hang on to this whole repair drone. On the other hand, though, because that is really good. And yeah, let's pick up all the fuel. Holy fuel, Batman. And yeah, that's pretty good. Now we're going to spend the rest of our scrap here on better engines. And I think we're going to get better doors as well. And let's just fire another one in the engines. There we go. Can take that out of there and keep it in there. Cool. So now we have four engines all of a sudden. 40% evasion. Fantabulous. Where are we going to jump? I think we're going to jump up here. Or here. Hmm. Let's go here. What have we got here in this lovely one? That's a nice one. You arrive near a small fleet of civilian energy ships. A simple decryption and translation of their comm frequency tells you that they are having frantic discussion about something obviously troubling them. Let's message them and ask if we can help. Slightly shocked at your question, their leader quickly responds. Declined offer with apologetic gratitude. Topic of discussion, private matter. No concern of federation. In other words, we don't have an engine crew member on board, so they are not willing to give us the stealth cruiser unlock event. Oh well. Let's jump over here. What have we got on this Earth-like planet? You receive a distress call from a nearby NG ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. Let's respond to that call and move in to assist. We receive another message from the ship, this time with a mantis at the comm log. Foolish meat sacks, he yells. Sensors indicate the ship is moving into attack. Then boarders teleport from the station. Holy moly. Oh man. Oh no. Okay, good thing I got those doors. Let's see if we can herd them in here. No, nope, that's not the way I want you to go. Let's see if we can coax them down here. No, nope, that's not where they want to go. Okay, let's close those doors. Okay, now they're in our helm. That was quick. Alright, let's uh, keep them out of there. Send our rock uh, something squad in there. And we also need to fight these guys, but they've got a glaive beam. Holy moly. Wow. Okay, well that thing's not going to fire for a while, so I'm not too worried. I don't think. And our rocks are doing an actually an okay job here. Taking out the mantis. Wow. I forgot about the glaive beam. I, I could have cloaked under the glaive beam, I really reckoned. And we wouldn't have taken any damage. Okay, let's get this guy back in the helm. Actually, let's do something like... No, that's okay. Now we can send these guys over. Okay. Whew. Yeah, it looks like we need a cloak again. Let's see, let's do something like this. Just get that shield online. Here we go. And the glaive beam harmlessly bounces off, right? Come on! Yes! Only took two damage. <laughs> Only took two damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, now we can use our firebomb and we are going to attack them in the weapons because we need to take that weapon out. Okay, we've got a fire. Let's send our rock crew members in. Now the mantis can't deal with the fire and he's going to take damage in addition to the fire. And this is we're going to take damage in addition to the fire. The other mantis is coming in. Looks like they've got NG Medbot dispersal. Huh. <laughs> Problems for them. We're going to need to hurry over and take out their med bay as well. Otherwise these guys are going to be pretty, uh, pretty hard to take down. Right. There we go. Right, we're actually going to get our guys out of there now because the, the, the Mandos should be okay. Or well, not too good at repairing. So let's, uh, let's heal our dudes up. And hopefully that fire will spread. Hopefully. There it goes, it's spreading, and the Mantis is trying to put it out. The engine medbot dispersal is actually doing a good job of keeping them uh, healed up. Okay, they're distracted by the fire, so we should be able to teleport into their medbay. 
No, here come two dudes. That's not good. We're going to need to send a firebomb in there. Let's just see if we can get our guys out. There we go. Fire in the medbay. Now we can get in there with our rock people. And put that fire out. The medbay is down. Excellent. And now they'll be taking damage due to the fire and they escape the room. Let's see if we can take out this other mantis. Okay, but they're repairing their weapons now, which is not good. So we're going to head over there and try and stop them from doing just that. Let's actually head in here. Into the weapons. There we go. That coaxes the other mantis in. And down they go. There are no more life sides remaining on their ship. So we strip it of useful materials. Getting three fuel, one drum pot, and 52 scrap. And we only took a little bit of damage there. What's more, we can use our whole repair drone to repair it back up without any real problems. Let's send a uh, nickel over there to fix that up. Everybody else is at full health, I think. No, iron isn't, so we go heal um, him up. Yeah, we're good. Let's just get a little bit faster repairs going on. Iron back in the helm, please. Iron over there, cobalt in here. How are they doing for experience? Okay, yeah, they're doing pretty good. And their ship is going down like crazy. Let's get him over here and him over here. Close the doors, and it's time to fire up that whole repair drone. Just get a bit of repairs going on. Wow, yeah. I've got a major fire over there right now. Whew, a great thing about a hull repair drone. Yeah, that's something else about hull repair drones as well. You generally don't want to actually be, uh, you don't want to really buy one. They cost a hundred scrap. A hundred scrap. So generally speaking, they're not really the best ship best drone to buy but if you come across one for free then they're fantastic oh and you don't really want to buy them because uh and you don't really you don't really break even with or well, you're lucky if you break even with it in terms of purchasing your repairs you find a rebel automated scout floating near the beacon despite its pristine condition it appears to be deactivated Huh, what are we going to do? Well, we can't really we can't really fight these guys, so we are just gonna not risk it and get 19 scope. I feel I feel like we uh, we walked out of there with a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Now we can either jump to the exit from here or we can uh, fight the elites. What do we got here? Attack! An automated rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small space bubble space station. Since it's indicated destroyed vessel for military goods. Well. They've got cloaking, but they don't have drones, and they've got some kind of at some kind of at least two shot laser, and then they've got that. Um Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this again. Let's see how that goes. Ah, uh, before you can get close enough to scan the station, the automated ship detects us and moves into attack. It's a BL3. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Yikes. Okay, we're probably just gonna wanna cloak under that BL3. But for the most part, we no, we can't really attack them with what we have, because fire doesn't really do damage to these sorts of ships, unfortunately. Let's cloak now to avoid the BL3. Fantastic. And that should be good enough to send us on our merry way. Unfortunately, we did not get anything out of this, but I'd rather have that than nothing at all. Okay, we could get two more jumps in, which I'm actually considering pretty heavily here, because we're doing quite well now if you ask me so let's try that out let's try that out if things get really here we can fire up the whole repair drone mid battle if we need there is a single ship at this beacon they hail us we could really use some help our FTL navigation system is shot can you help us get to a nearby station where they patch us up as usual the accent was changing like three or four different types during that dialogue let's accept of course great take this bit of fuel as a down payment We'll be one step behind you following your jump signatures. Don't want to take any risks now, do we? No, you do not. You weaklings. Let's jump over here. And see how we do. The beginner at, the, at first glance seems to be home to a junkyard. Upon closer inspection, it reveals itself to be a ramshackle market. One trader has a deal that catches our eye. Seven fuel for two missiles. What a steal. Let's accept, of course. We need that fuel. And we're gonna jump to the exit now. Hi there. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got it first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Oh, well, that's not good. 
sending two humans into our teleporter, the most dangerous room on our ship, the idiots. And for the most part we should be okay against these guys. We just need to dodge under that missile when needed, like right now. And that was a small bomb, but it didn't do any damage because it hit an empty room. Ha! Huh. Alright, let's heal these guys up. Like so. And then we can take out their med bay with our fire bomb, what I, is what I'm thinking. It'll be a good tactic. Okay, our drones are down, but that's alright. We've got a miss there with the thing, which is pretty dang lucky. Let's fire on their thing. There we go. Two fires. Depower the med bay, power up the teleporter, and jump into their med bay. Hello, boys. Are we ready to die? Okay, we're going to actually have to control that fire. Okay, that's cl oh, cl oh, we got lucky there, unfortunately. I turned on autofire, didn't I? Let's turn that off, okay. Wow, I got lucky there with that dodge. Let's be honest. There we go. Are we going to need to get our guys out of there? Oh, they're doing for the most part, they're actually doing okay. Ow! Okay, now they can't now they can't repair their med bay, so what I'm going to do is actually uh, jump out of there and just make sure we're doing okay. Okay, let's see. So the situation right now is fire. That's the situation. Okay, we can cloak under the next rocket, which we're going to do. Awesome. 100% evasion with level 4 engine, which is really good. Okay, we got a man just repairing the weapons, I just realized. And he's almost done now, so it's a bit late. Let's jump into the weapons, take out those missiles. Oh, they're all coming in, but it's too late. Oh dear. Whew. There's no time to salvage the enemy ship. We must jump away before the cruisers get them firing range. Ow. 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 Okay. Let's fix up the, uh, the dudes. Let's actually fix up Ariel as well. Man, everyone took a hit there. Let's heal guys up. How are you? You're the only guy that got out unscathed, you lucky devil, you. Let's fix up the drone control and cloaking, and then we can be on our way. Ship on fire. That's okay. We get the firebomb online and get that cloaking repaired. We're going to need some more power here and more engines. And more weapons, I just realized. More weapons is probably our top priority here. If we really want to use that fire beam at all to really dominate our opponents, that would be ideal. Okay, we can jump out of here now. I think we're going to use up uh, another defense drone, or a hull repair drone, excuse me. One, two, and a three. We're going to get four? Nah. Oh well, that's okay. I just wanted to get up to at least 20. Cool. So let's go to the next sector here. We got rock controlled sector or a civilian sector. No, I'm going to go rock controlled because I don't want to go through that nebula. There. Yeah. The rock people have a particularly aggressive stance toward alien races trespassing in their space. We should tread carefully here. Indeed we should. And the quest is way over there near the exit, which is pretty good. Okay, it looks like we've pretty much our only option here is to basically go this is like a lightning bolt. Lightning bolts. What was that? I don't know. You encounter a rock vessel and attempt to open trading frequencies, but they take it as an act of cultural transmission and open fire. Well that's not good, and they've got missiles and they've got a mid bay. So we're gonna need to take out yeah, that. Midway with our bomb. Okay, we should be okay against their weapons with our shielding. Indeed we are. Okay, it's time to cloak. Wait, what? Cloak, you dang fool. There we go. And jump. Well, we've got to wait on the medbay jump, to be honest. There we go. Now we can jump. And we're cloaked, so that missile should be okay. There we go. 100% evasion. All win. Now the rocks are immune to fire here, so this could be pretty rough. Uh, okay, I think I want to do this as well, just to make sure that that's not causing us too many problems. Okay, the oxygen's down and on fire. 
Let's get that under control here with nickel. Send him over to the oxygen. Okay. Things are looking pretty good. Now they can't come into here because they're worried. Because even though there are their rocks, the AI is still worried about you know just taking damage from the fire, which is kind of funny. All right, uh, how are they doing for health? Not too bad. Okay, but yeah, they're gonna need to get out of there. Yeah, it's time to go <laughs> and heal those boys up. Let's do that. So we've got enough power for our oxygen. And once we get this fixed, we should just need to heal these guys up. If we could do a, get a bit of faster healing, that'd be good. Okay, now that's up, and they're going to try and let's see if we can kill this dude. And we do. At least I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's get back in there. And take this out. Okay. Now the oxygen's down and on fire and whatnot. Let's cloak underneath the rocket. There we go. Let's do a bit of a risky maneuver here, but we missed. Ah, oh, well. Okay. We'll have to wait for our firebomb to heal up again. Their ship is now almost out of oxygen, which is really interesting. Perhaps that could be a factor. Okay, the medbay is now down again. And they're almost out of oxygen as well. Let's just keep them down as long as we can. And they're out of missiles now as well. Let's jump back. Heal up. Rinse and repeat. Okay, we get, we get nickel, is it? Back there. Now the ship is out of oxygen, basically. And they are desperately trying to... What are they doing? They're like walking in place. You find a weapon system on the ship with no crew to stop us, we can install it on our own. Gaining 40 scrap and a breach bomb. That is another really good weapon. That is a really good weapon. We could get all these weapons online if only I had enough scrap. Let's see. There we go. Everybody's full health. 150, 100, 150, 150, 150. Beautiful. Um, we don't really need the store to be honest. Not really need that store. Let's go ahead and fix up the hole with our plethora of repair drones. Two, even just three would be okay for me. Four, cool. Anything after three is a bonus at the moment. And just the four. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> a max of five, but yeah. Where are we going to go? Well, we don't really have any choice but to go through that store. So I think if we go one, two, three, and then to the store, we might be able to do okay. Let's just try and rack up some really good scrap here. And, you know, see what they got. You find a disabled rock transport floating near the beacon. You consider stripping of useful parts, but uncertain why it's there in the first place. Let's strip that ship! A rock patrol ship jumps in while you're salvaging the ship. They message you, Filthy pirates, prepare to die! You doubt explaining your mission will convince them of your need. Now, here's something really cool about this event. You gain the stuff as if you uh, raided the ship, but then you get to fight another ship. So it's basically like a double reward, which is really cool. If you get that lucky. Okay, but they've got some really de deadly weapons there. So we're going to use our firebomb to take out the weapons. And then we'll send our rock crew members in. Again, these guys are all rocks, so we're fighting fire with fire, basically. Okay, time to time to cloak, <laughs> and it's time to fire that fire bomb. But we missed. Oh no! The BL2 missed all three shots. Pretty lucky there. And there we go. One damage in a piddly little room. That's all right. There we go. We got a fire in the weapon, so let's jump in there now. Oh boy! And we got a miss on the missile. That's good. And the BL2 is going for another round. We've got two people finding one rock which is pretty good. Let's cloak. There we go. Now the missiles are down. That is good. There we go. Everything is offline. Let's go ahead and coax them out of hiding by coming into the oxygen room. And we should be able to kill this rock before he actually leaves the room now. Which should be kind of fun. Oh, no. He's not. He's staying for the end. And we should be able to kill this guy before this guy even gets here. That's kind of fun. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay, now we should be able to take this guy out now with our two dudes. Let's see how that goes. I mean, I took the one damage there from that missile. Pretty good stuff. Now you've got a ton of scrap. What do I want to do with all this scrap? What 
do I want to do with it? Okay, he's made, doing a runner. Done a runner. <laughs> oh, where is he going? <laughs> with the crew dead, you're able to take the fuel out of storage, and we also gain 60 scrap in addition to that 3 fuel. Now we're at 237 scrap. That is so much scrap. There's more scrap than I know what to do with. Well, maybe not, but... <laughs> Uh, let's see. What's our jump situation like? So I've got the store right there. Um, um, I think what I'm going to do is get level 5 engines. Good. Let's get the next layer of weapons so we can power up a fire beam. And we only really need four to be honest because we can do either of this or this depend depending on the situation. Which is really good. Because now we can take out uh, pretty much anything. Huh, cool. And next next thing really is the death shields, but also as well uh better maybe not better cloaking this time around. I'm thinking perhaps a bit of mid bay and better than this. Well we can go for either or at the moment. I think we're gonna go better better teleporter for now. Let's just throw that in the cloaking though, because oh, I'm stupid. Let's jump there, go there, there, and then the store. Still make up a ton of scrap. Hey there. As a naturally warlike species with few intergalactic diplomatic ties, the rock people have garnered quite a reputation as fearsome pirates. You stumble across one of their ships and they promptly live up to type. Yikes. Look at those weapons spring out of the hole. Well, 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 what are we going to do here? Hmm. They have a med bay. I'm actually very tempted to do something like this. Take the shields down. And then we'd come in with the fire beam. That would be kind of good. Let the fire. We're gonna, yeah, use the fi the fire bomb, and then send our guys. And then when the fire beam charges up, and hopefully the shields will be down to the point where we can actually use it by then. Ah, oh, but we missed. Oh well. We'll have to try again. Yeah, now these better ships are gonna have better evasion, which is gonna be a bit problematic for us. We got a second miss there as well. Dang it! Hard. Well, we'll do one more. This time, I think we'll just do the med bay, just because it's the general thing to do. The general thing to do. General, 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 general thing to do. There we go. We got a fire in the med bay, so let's send our boys in. Take out that med bay. And keep these guys under control. That's a multi-level med bay as well, huh? The breach too could be interesting. In situations like this. Yeah, okay. Wow, yeah, they're doing pretty good there with their weapons. Okay, let's cloak now to avoid all that damage. And what we're gonna do is fire on their shields. Okay, now the shields are down. They're going to try and put those out. Let's get out of there, heal up, and see if we can t uh, get our fire, our fire beam in there because it would be really good to try and use the fire beam here. Oh well, there yeah, we tried. Okay, the mid bay is still down, which is kind of important. We're healing up. The mid bay is back on fire and in trouble. There we go, they're trying to keep the fires under control, but they're just not working. Let's send our dudes in. And this should be the half the last time we do so. There we go. Okay, looking good. Well, we don't really need to use any other things here, to be honest. Now the oxygen's down, and they're not going in there to repair that. Because they're too worried about the fires. So let's just cloak just to keep things under control. Now the weapons are down on fire. One rock's down. Okay, maybe we want to get out of there actually, because that's pretty serious fire. <laughs> now let's just finish them off. And down go the rocks. There are no more life sins remaining on this ship, so we strip it of useful materials, getting one field, two missile, and 56 scrap, and it doesn't look like we took any damage. Pretty good stuff. Okay. Now we're on top of our game. It took a while, but we're finally here. <laughs> hmm. 
we've got a lot of interesting combinations we can pull off here. The burst laser one's probably not going to be too useful now. Uh, the breach two is capable of taking down two shields, which is quite good. And it's not just, it's kind of like a slightly worse ion bomb. But yeah, it's probably a bit more balanced ion bomb to be honest. Well, let's jump to this distress beacon, make a bit more money, and then see what it's at the store, and then we can make a decision about what we want to upgrade. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving up the distress call. Shall we investigate? It could be dangerous. Let's search for that ship. We find a pirate ship damaged and abandoned. We salvage what we can and move on, getting two fuel, one drone part, and 26 scrap. Still haven't got that crystal cruiser unlocked, which kind of sucks. Hoping to get that at some point. <laughs> The rock tolerate few aliens in their space, but even they seem to respect the wisdom of the Zoltan. A few of them have established a training post in the husk of an abandoned capital ship. So what have they got for us? Stealth weapons, not... Don't really need that. Don't really need the Pegasus now that we've got the Breach 2. Um, yeah, we don't really need anything from these guys, okay. Just, I had to come through here though, to be honest. Ah, uh, yeah, let's upgrade Upgrad this and that's pretty much all we can do for now so now we've got a level two that and that need more power more power where are we going from here um do we want to hit that quest up let's try it if we've got it we might as well i was kind of considering just not but yeah you recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails us and offers us laborers for cheap. Well, we could use our teleporter to attempt to board the ship and release some of the slaves, but we wouldn't get to attack the ship. So let's attack the ship. <laughs> okay, now they've got two rocks on this, so fire's not going to help us out too much, but I am still going to use it just to take those weapons out because I've got that missile there. Just try and keep them under control. And our shield should be more than a match for those other weapons. There we go. Fire in the weapons is good. Let's send our rocks in. Come on, I want to use this fire beam. I haven't actually fired a single shot with the fire beam yet. Maybe let's dodge under that missile. Good, 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 good. Okay, there goes the ion weapon. Man, these guys are good fighters. Or at least it looks like they are. I can't really see too well the health bars from here. Okay, looks like one dude's leaving, and the other dude's leaving. Okay, now the weapons are under our control. Finally, let's take the rest of these fools out. There we go, one rock down. Where's the other one? There he goes. You scan the ship and detect no life signs. It appears the slaves died in the fight. You ship the ship and prepare to jump. I'm not surprised they died with all the fire that's rock rocketing everywhere. One for you, one drum, about 57 scrap. Did I say that bit already? Maybe. Plenty of scrap. Plenty of money. Let's get some more power. More power. Speed up that healing factor. Very good. And let's jump back into the teleporter. We are looking pretty fine here. We've got a second store, which I don't, again, don't really need. So let's just skip it. What's over here? A few freighters pass by, but they refuse all communications. Must not want to solo their reputation by talking with foreigners. Yeah. Okay, we've got the quest there. Let's jump to that and see what we can do. Shortly after we arrive, the ship we were escorting jumps nearby. They thank for the help and offer us three fuel, two missiles, and 60 scrap as a reward. Well, that's a pretty good reward if you ask me. Let's go over here, and then we'll have to go to that exit. Unless we want to go to that other sector and then to the exit. As soon as you arrive, you hear the telltale sounds of a teleporter and the shouts reverberating through the ship. Prepare to burn, fleshy meat sack aliens. No, there must be mantis. No, oh, they're rock, okay. That's unusual for the rocks to say something like meat sack, isn't it? That's a that's a mantis thing, I thought. Alright, let's see where they go once they start suffocating. Okay, they're gonna try and go for the oxygen. Well we can't have that now, can we? So let's get in there in preparation. <laughs> okay, let's actually just, now let's, let's wait. Okay, now our doors are taking damage, so let's just drain that of oxygen again. 
There we go. Now we should be able to take these guys out without too much of a problem. There we go. Now let's get to that mid bay as fast as we can, boys. Faster than that, faster than light, I guess you could say. <laughs> Time to jump. We're going to go to this distress beacon, Lento at the exit. Yes. <laughs> Pause with music. That's another nice one. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Hmm. Let's destroy and loot the ship, because they're just pirates. You decide the pirate is not worth saving and fire a few volleys into their hull, causing the ship to depressurize and break apart. Ha, <laughs> we're cruel and ruthless. You move in to loot the remains of two missiles, one drum part, and 53 scrap. Well, well, well. Here we are again with bucket loads of money. What are we going to spend it on? Let's get our dudes in there. How are they doing? Full and almost full. So there we go. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to get something before we face the uh, rebel elites. I'm thinking... Uh, huh. Huh. Maybe cloaking. Maybe cloaking. We can do that, right? Yeah, we can max out our cloaking just like that, can't we? There we go. With one investment, you have to, you'll have to tell me. Okay, <laughs> now we've got 15 seconds of cloaking. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got it first. You must have long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Okay, they've got a BL3, a BL2, and some rockets. Wow! Glad I got that. Let's send all four of our people in there. And fight these invaders. Oh, they jumped back, but one of them died. That's good. Let's cloak now. Probably should have waited just a couple more seconds for the uh, the BL3 there. Hopefully we're going to get a bit lucky. We'll see. Okay, let's jump these guys in there like so. Let's take out their medbay. Like so. And jump on. There we go. Now they're only humans, so they are going to take the damage from the fire. Okay, we got one damage there. You got oxygen. That's not good. Let's go ahead and repair that now. And it looks like they're about to fire another rocket. We can't cloak just yet, but luckily they missed. Okay, it's a multi-layered med bay there, which is interesting. Time to cloak. I probably should have waited on the cloak once again. Yikes. But we're going to try and maximize our opportunities of staying hidden here. Jump back and heal up. Now they can't fix the med bay. They're screwed. <laughs> Okay, we got one miss there, and we took one damage, but that's okay. We got another lucky miss there. Okay, they've got one of the fires under control. Let's make sure they don't get the other one under control. Hello, boys. Prepare to die. Okay, now let's get into their weapons just to make sure they don't bother us too much. Finally, a decent time to cloak. Let's just make sure those weapons never see the light of day again. Take it out, 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 out. There we go. Now I'm going to jump into the shield room here and try and take the shields down. Then I can use my fire beam to really wreak some havoc. Aww. There's no time to salvage the enemy ship. We must jump away before those cruisers can get within firing range. We get one fuel. Aww. I wanted to wreak some more havoc. Dang it. Oh well. Let's get these guys back in there. Heal him up. He needs healing up too. There we go. How you doing? Okay. Yeah, their system's having all kinds of problems. Do 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 Let's get a little bit of repair going on here. See how we do. With our whole repair drone. Looking good, looking good. We got the, what is that, just the two, three... Four, all five. Fantabulous. Put that back in the mid bay and let's jump the heck out of here. Mantis controlled sector. Oh, yes, please. And that leaves us one sector away from the final stand. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. I'm sure your whole planning is up to scratch and that we have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Well, well, if you want to see if that's the case, you guys know what's next. You're going to have to come back in the next episode here of FTL with. 
the Rock Cruiser Type A. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button. But other than that, thank you guys very much for watching. My name is Bertros, and here come. It is too early to come all the way up here. The smell of this checkpoint makes me sick. What is yet a shit hanging here? These walls are for official plaques only. Your pay will be docked for violation. It will not happen again. At least your performance is not terrible. You have received nine temptations. Do not slip further. Now. I have an old friend coming through. Approve her entry. She is Shay Pryosovka. I do not want to hear any trouble to her. Glory to Rostotska. What was her name?